What's up guys, this is Jake Voorhees and in this episode, we're gonna be talking about how to crush a job interview out of the park. Welcome to the 1% Engineer Show, guys, where we empower young engineers by extending learning beyond the classroom. And in this episode, I'm gonna go over one main way that you can do great on your next interview. So first, let's reverse engineer what a job interview is. And what they're doing is they're bringing you in because you have already met the requirements for that position to have a conversation, to ask you some questions, to give you some zingers, to see how you deal with things. And then after that, they will reevaluate the candidates and offer the position to someone. So let's back up and actually think about what I just said. And what's truly going on is you have already met the criteria for the job. So you no longer need to actually sell yourself in the interview. Therefore, what are they actually looking for? I was having lunch with my friend Kelvin yesterday, a 21 year old UBC engineer in his third year. And he's nervous when he goes to interviews for internships and is trying to become a better interviewer for the future of his career. And he had some questions for me and I'm going to be giving you those responses, really the main core response in order to help you in your next interview. The main thing that they really want to see is that you can communicate that you're confident, that you're comfortable coming in and speaking with one or more individuals in the boardroom and just talking about your experience, what you've done, your time at university, what you like, what makes you tick in engineering and things like that. And that's really all they want to see. They don't care about your grades anymore. You have met the criteria for that. If you are applying to NASA, they require a 4.0. So you're not even sitting down in an interview room unless you have that. If they require XYZ skills in your curriculum in engineering, you would not even be in the room if you did not already have those. So these are not things you need to worry about. You just need to worry about having a conversation and being prepared for worst case scenario. Okay, what do I mean by worst case scenario? They could ask you some tough HR questions, most notably, what are your biggest weaknesses and things like this and you need to be ready for these questions but really once you reverse engineer and break down what a job interview is you can just walk in wear a suit dress accordingly for the job know your research about the company know who's going to be interviewing you and be prepared for those types of things look at their linkedin profiles and cross pollinate see if you have anything in common like schools you went to or societies that you're a part of but really just relax and practice talking in the mirror with your suit on to what would be executives in the boardroom. Maybe an HR person is there, maybe a team leader is there, but really you just need to practice your conversational skills in a professional setting. And once you understand this, it's actually quite easy. You're just having a conversation. Some engineers struggle with this, but everyone has conversations. Confidence and fluidity in social situations really comes down to just practice and iteration. And when you go to your first job interview of all time, you're gonna be super nervous. If you've had 50 job interviews before you're 30, you're not gonna be nervous anymore. So just practice, practice, practice at home. Think about worst case scenario, like some challenging interview questions, but really just relax and tell yourself that you have already been selected for this interview. They like you, you're good enough. Now all they want to see is can you communicate? Can you have a conversation? Are you gonna be a good fit for this team? Because if you're just a mute and a scientist, that's probably not what they want. So just practice having conversations in a professional setting. And you're gonna do great on your next interview. You're going to crush it out of the park and get off with the job. And you'll be on your way to becoming a 1% engineer. Thanks for watching the show, guys. Stay tuned for more in episode five. Question of the day, what is your strongest memory while interviewing for a job? Comment below, send me some feedback about how you think everything is going, guys. Love to hear from you. Follow me on social and please subscribe to the show so I can reach more engineers. Thanks again for watching and stay hungry, guys, on your question to becoming a 1% engineer.